The War Collector by Sonja Wimmer. Luna was an extraordinary little girl. She lived high, high up in the sky. And she had a very strange pastime. Luna collected words just like other people collected stamps. Funny words that tickle your palate when you say them. Words so beautiful that they make you cry. Friendly words that embrace your soul. Magic words, delicious words, long and short words, funny words, crazy words, magnificent words, little words, humble words, serious words. But one day, everything changed. Little by little, the beautiful, magnificent, and fun words began to disappear. What had happened to them? Luna asked the birds, the clouds, and the travelers, and they all replied the same thing. People are forgetting all the beautiful words. They don't think they're important anymore. They're too busy. That night, Luna couldn't sleep, and when the first rays of sunlight sent the stars off to bed, she made a decision. She put all the words she had in a big suitcase and set off with them on a journey. She flew overseas in continents, mountains, and cities. Wherever there was hate and violence, she saw words of brotherhood, love, and tolerance within people's hearts. Wherever there were people who were sad and lonely, she wove threads of warm words, words of friendship and compassion. And where everyone was too busy to laugh together, blind to the miracle of nature, she scattered the craziest, funniest, and most magical words she had, and the words tickled them in their nose, on their tongues, and in their ears. But, oh no! Suddenly, the suitcase was empty. There wasn't a single word. Luna was desperate. But then, she saw that people had started to throw letters to each other like balls. They invented new words. They gave them to each other. They shared them. And they let them fly away. And so, Luna sighed deeply and began to dance joyfully among them, together with her new friends. She had given them all of her words. She was happy. After all, what was the point of collecting something if you couldn't share it? The War Collector by Sonja Wimmer <laughs>